Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how to fix cannot verify server identity. So if you open your mail account and you see this kind of error. So how you can fix that? For this what you have to do you have to simply watch this video completely. So without wasting any time let's start the video. First of all what you have to do you have to simply uh, close the uh, mail app and exit the mail app. And after that well, the next thing you have to do is you have to simply go to settings and here what you have to do you have to uh, scroll it down until you find the option of general so here what you have to do you have to scroll it down until you find the option of iPhone storage and you have to scroll it down and you have to simply show all the apps so here what you have to do you have to look for mail app and here what you have to do you have to simply offload the app and after offloading the app you have to simply go back and the next thing you have to do is you have to again uh, go to settings and you have to uh, go to general and after that what you have to do uh, you have to scroll it down until you find the option of transfer or reset iPhone so here what you have to do you have to simply reset all of your network settings and after resetting all of your network settings you have to check whether your problem has been solved or not if the problem is still there then you can also uh, go for remove your uh, email account on your mail app and after that you can simply re-add it so that this problem cannot occur again and the next thing you have to do is you have to simply press and hold uh, the power and volume up button and you have to simply uh, restart your iphone and after restarting your iphone what you have to do you have to simply uh, restart it again and you have to simply again open the mail app and you have to check whether your problem has been solved or not if the problem is still there then you can simply go for the uh, next step which is as that you have to simply check whether your Wi-Fi connection or internet connection is working properly or not for this what you have to do so you have to simply restart your Wi-Fi router and you have to check again the problem so hope you have this will fix your error hope you have liked this video if you get more videos like this you can subscribe our channel